guys, welcome back to another video. So, today I have something for my brown skin girls and guys out there. Um, today I wanted to do a makeup that I think is really really nice and complimentary on brown skin and it's not just only the makeup look it's also the products that I am using and I feel like some of the products I'm using are, will be really good for like deep deep skin tones as well. I think peach makeup and peach colours are super complementary to um, tan or darker skin tones. I just love, love peachy tones. Um, so I wanted to uh, do a look with it, but um, using products that I think are really good for um, brown skin tones or darker skin tones or even deeper skin tones. But yeah, I really, really hope you guys will enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and we'll jump straight into the video. Here I am bare face and I'm first going to start off my brows and I'm using the Brow Artist Expert Brow Pencil by L'Oreal and this is a darkest shade, I think it's called Ebony but everything will be written and linked in the info box but I'm just going to fill my brows in um, with this brow pencil I like to roughly brush through them and it really does the job nicely I would say and then I'm going in with my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden and I definitely recommend this concealer if you want a nice concealer that will kind of you know clean your brows up really well I don't know I really like this concealer for my brows I don't know how to explain it, it just does it so nicely and neatly and it covers the um, sparse hairs as well and then I'm going in with the brow artist expert not brow artist plumper by L'Oreal in medium dark and I'm just gonna um, set my brow hairs in place Oh, and I also been liking to do this lately. I like to keep my put my baby hairs in the right direction, and it just stays like that the whole day. And I think it makes my parting look a bit neater, <laughs> you know. And they, it also keeps the brow hairs out of my face. So now for foundation, I'm using the LA Girl HD Foundation in Tan. This is you guys know this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and I'm just um I'm actually almost out. But I'm just brushing this all over. This is really well with a brush and a beauty blender. It's up to you guys. But yeah, I'm just blending this all out. Um, another few of my other favourite drugstore foundations is definitely the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It's got a good colour range and I just it's one of my favourite drugstore ones. The Milani 2-in-1 um, foundation and concealer is actually really good as well. But it's very dewy, so keep that in mind. And for concealer today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and this concealer is so good. Like, guys, it's like I feel like it's a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. It's not as full coverage, but it's very close to Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade Medium Deep Tan, I think, um, and it's just really good. I get mine from Amazon because you can't get Wet n Wild in the UK yet, so. Yeah, I really, really like this concealer. The LA Girl Pro HD concealers are a good alternative if you can't get your hands on this one. Um, then onto powder, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Banana Powder. This is a really good drugstore setting powder. I'm really happy with this one. There's no flashback and it just keeps my concealer in place and it helps with creasing. Um, and yeah, and the W7 Banana Dreams Powder is also another good drugstore powder. And I, I also like to use this to set the rest of my face as well. And then I just brush off all the excess. <laughs> I'm always here making weird faces. But yeah, just brush it all off. I've also set my lids. It makes a good base to um, apply your eyeshadows afterwards. So once I've done blending everything out, I'm going to grab my... <laughs> such a weirdo i'm gonna grab my nip and fab contour palette in deep i definitely recommend this palette if you have deeper skin tone this one in particular this is the deep one or the dark one um it's just all the colors in it is so good and that orange in the palette is so nice as a blusher and the paler shade in the palette is actually really good for under eyes it's a bit more on the pinky side like a salmony color but it does the job nevertheless so you kind of got everything in there but the bronzers are just so good they blend so nicely they're just really nice colors and i also like to go in with the darker shade as well like the really really deep shade and just kind of make my contour a bit darker and give it a bit more definition around my cheeks i'm just bronzing my forehead right now but here you can see i'm taking the darker shade and i'm just going to deepen like the contour bit this just gives it a bit more dimension you know 
and we have we have to do that double chin don't forget the double chin guys <laughs> now I'm using the LA girl blush just blushing blush in just peachy oh my god guys I recommend this blush to anyone it's so beautiful so pretty and this shade in particular is so beautiful and now I'm using the sleek highlighting palette in Cleopatra's kiss I feel like if you you have a deeper skin tone like you you can't not use it any like one color like you can use basically i'm trying to say like you can use every color in that palette it's just a good one you know and then i'm using my nip and fab setting spray it's got a weird spray but it still does the job really nicely like it makes everything blend and melt together so now onto eyes i'm using the makeup revolution dance on the floor resurrection palette i think that's what it's called but i'm not sure but i will write it in the info box i believe they're still available but I'm just using the shade that the way you could see the little bunny rabbit. I'm just using this color in my crease and I'm grabbing this next shade here and just deepening out the crease area a bit more. And I would say that um makeup revolution palettes in general are actually really really good, especially if you've got you know they have some pigments that are really good for darker skin tones and that appear on darker skin tones. Like you can see these shadows are so good, and I use more tapping motions first to get the extra you know the most pigmentation possible i feel like i can't speak english today what the hell what the hell wrong with me hello okay let me stop now <laughs> um but now i'm using that really dark brownie shade um to really deepen out the outer v corner but yeah they have these um oh, makeup revolution have these new palettes out which i will be getting my hands on soon so if you can't get this one there's definitely other palettes that are really really good so yeah makeup revolution in general have really nice affordable palettes that are really great for like brown dark deeper skin tones so yeah i'm just using this peach shimmery shade on my mobile lid and then i'm topping that off with this color pop eyeshadow in a maze these eyeshadows are so affordable but so oh. I don't have any I don't have any describing words is that called an adjective oh my god do I go uni <laughs> what the hell <laughs> but yeah um I'm just putting that on top it's just such a beautiful color and this is a maze by the way a maze you need to get a maze and now I'm using my eyeliner this is the glam eyes liquid eyeliner by Rimmel and this is you know can you see that brush it's just so thin and I rarely make mistakes with this eyeliner it just it's so precise and it stays on all day it's super black so yeah it's really good Rimmel have other eyeliners but this is the one you need to get because the brush is so thin but yeah I absolutely love this eyeliner I'm just doing a wing and then after that I'm just curling my eyelashes and then I'm gonna grab my favorite mascara of all time it's my lash sensational mascara I always get the intense black one because I feel like it's really really black and I'm just um, applying a bunch of that on my lashes and then my most favorite lashes drugstore lashes is the eye gimme gimme lashes it's part of their most wanted range oh, it's out of stock in most places with this lash look at it it's so beautiful I love it so much guys I rave about this lash so much because it's just so fluffy and so easy to put on and it's so comfortable and here just for my uh, lower lash line I put some of the darker shades from the palette on my lower lash line and then put some mascara on I did my other eye off camera and now onto my lips I'm just applying some of this blacker uh, lip crayon in 22M I'll link it in the info box but if you are like brown skin or you have darker skin you need to get this color this color is so beautiful it's such a unique yellowish tone brown I love it so much it's so pretty I love it and the f at first the formula is really really nice it does wear out quickly but I just can't get over the color but yeah I think that's all I have to say guys I really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next time bye